This video aims to explain the law of identity and some of its uses. I will refer back to this in future videos. Leibniz's law of identicals is really simple and goes like this. If we have some entity or thing A, then whatever is true of A will be true of A. Suppose some proposition X is possibly true of A. Well, by the above reasoning, then whatever is possibly true of A will be possibly true of A, because it's true of A that X is possibly true of A. So if you have two things A and B, and you're trying to discern if A and B are identical, then use this law. If A and B are identical, then whatever is true of A will be true of B, and whatever is possibly true of A will be possibly true of B. Now to talk about the terminology of possible worlds. A possible world is, as William Lane Craig puts it, a complete description of the way the world might be. This is actually a lot more intuitive than it sounds. Let's take a world in which solipsism is true. Solipsism is the view that only your mind exists and everything else is a projection of it. If I were to say, it's possible that my mind can exist alone in a solipsist world, I say this because I can conceive of a possible scenario in my head in which my mind is the only thing that exists. In fact, it's possible that this world is a solipsist world and everything is a projection of your mind. Therefore, there is a possible world in which solipsism is true. Thus, it's possibly true of my mind that it's the only thing that exists. So whenever we say X is possibly true of Y, it's because there is a possible world in which X is true of Y. Now, let me take my variable Y. There is no possible world in which Y does not equal Y. Let me illustrate this using the solipsism example. In any possible world I can conceive of relating to my mind, my mind must always be my mind. I can't conceive of a possible world containing my theoretical puppy and call the puppy my mind. So to summarize, the law of identity combined with modal logic is this. Whatever is true of A will be true of A, whatever is possibly true of A will be possibly true of A, and in all possible worlds A will always be A. Thus, if A equals B, then whatever is true of A will be true of B, whatever is possibly true of A will be possibly true of B, and in all possible worlds A will always be B. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you.